morning, you guys. It may seem like we were just all about motocross, but we're back at it again today. In fact, we are at the gas station filling up Cruz gas can and heading off to the motocross track right now. This is the start, the beginning of the new fall or summer series of motocross mini MX at Rocky Mountain Raceway. You guys saw the award ceremony last night. Tonight is the first time they get to ride on the track, kind of like the inauguration, the kickoff, the break into the track. And so you've got to get all your stuff back together again. So we dropped off the bike yesterday at Edge Power Sports. They're tuning it up, giving the oil change, getting it all ready to go. They're actually going to bring it and deliver it to us at the raceway. So that's very convenient, very helpful. I'm just going to get some gas for it because we ran completely out. Mom's getting some ice for the cooler so we can bring some snacks, treats, and of course water because it is a nice hot day. We got our chairs. We got a little bike for Hazy to ride around in. And we are headed off to another night at the racetrack. Mom, just making sure this is Ford Tough here. Oh, it's Ford Tough. <laughs> I don't know that I'm Ford Tough. <laughs> Feels like summer right there. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Super random side note. How fun is it to be standing in the bed of our truck, loading up a cooler and hanging off to the dirt so track? Awesome. I love this. We just made it to the track. We're here. We've got crew registered. He signed up and set up for the summer series. We're taking part in that sacred first track walkthrough, you guys. Scoping out the territory. Pretty much the same as last series because that just ended a couple weeks ago. But they're admiring the smoothed out tracks, the freshly wet dirt. So crew loves to just go for like a nice little walk. This is something Bryson taught him on his very first time out here. Just kind of walk the track, check it out. I think it's just more for fun. These kids love running up the hills. In just a minute, crew's gonna be racing up these on a dirt bike. All right, guys, we're race ready here. Next up, we got Hazy Girl. Sweetie. Let's change the oil real quick to get it all gassed up. Okay, Hazy Girl, you want to go to the starting gates? Oh, yeah. You sit on it, and then you walk. Boom, 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 boom. Setting up for another night here at the track. We got snacks, we got drinks, we got ice cold waters. Mom's making sure we're hydrated, having a great time. It's super sunny out. But tonight, just so you guys know, is all practice. It's all fun. I don't even think they drop gates. They just line them up in the dirt, let them go for 15 minutes, take a break, run all the classes through, then you get to go do it again. So I think you get two practice rounds Seriously? per class. See what I say? I'm always eating. <laughs> if I'm vlogging, she's eating. <laughs> and I vlog a lot, guys. We hope you guys have fun out hanging out with us tonight. This is a fun kickoff to the summer series, and we're stoked to be doing it again. Kruby's bike getting delivered right now by Edge Power Sports. Oh, look at that. Are you sure that's Cruz? That does not look like it did when we dropped it off. Kruby, dude, look at that, bro. Wow. Oh, B, is that just a piece of cake for you? Yeah, you know, for some people, it's probably pretty tough, but when you own a truck, it's not that bad. You guys. Truck life has gone to Brandon's head a little bit. Yeah, this right thing on. is beautiful. It seriously looks brand new. I love it. As you can see by the sweat on my brow, it's a scorcher out here. Kruby Doo getting ready for his practice round. They have four practice rounds tonight and you get to go twice. So the way this is set up is they have the big boys go first, a little bit smaller bikes, a little bit smaller than eventually the peewees. So this is pretty rad, but Kruby do. I don't know if we've talked about this already, but we're just gonna do the peewee beginner this class. We're gonna kind of take it easy. This is gonna be the summer, but we took it chill and just really enjoyed kind of the easier entry level beginner race, the beginner class. But Crew has decided that after talking with Brian from Edge Power Sports, he's feeling like he wants to sign up for the 7-8 beginner. Is it beginner? No, the 7-8, yeah, Pee 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 Wee 7, 8. 7 8. So he wants to sign up for the peewee 7 8, which is the harder class. He finished 12th in that last series, but he wants to go for it again this series because he wants to challenge himself, become a better rider, race against better riders, and just overall be better. And I am so proud of him because that was a last minute decision. Mom's walking over right now to sign him up for it. We signed him up, just peewee beginner, and that's it, nothing else. And then he said, you know what? I'm ready for it. I want to do peewee 7 8. And so he's going to do that again, guys. So we got two classes again this series that Crew's going to be racing. Super stoked about that. How do you feel, bro? Good. Good. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay. Kirby's practice round is up next. Let's get ready. Alright guys, cruise group is up next. We are lined up ready to rock. Now again, this is practice. They don't have a gate drop. We just kind of all line up like this and then we take off when they say go. But we are so pumped to be back out here, back on the track, getting some laps in. They go five laps, take a break, come back for another five laps. Crew, are you ready for this, bro? Yeah. Let's do this! Oh. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, Kirby, my man. How do you feel, bro? That was a long practice, dude. I saw you doing all kinds of things, dude. Standing up, getting air, knees in. You were doing everything right. How'd it feel? Kirby just crushed it, you guys. He did awesome. First he... round of practice, you guys, he was getting air. He was standing up, hugging his knees, all the stuff he's supposed to do. Nice job, buddy. Good first outing. He got off and he was done and he just kept doing this. And I was like, oh gosh, did he hurt himself? He's like, no, I'm just tired of doing this. Such a savage, mm -hmm. dude. Hi. <laughs> Are you doing such a good job? Thank you. Keep me cool out here, huh, Hazy? Yeah. I <laughs> The calm before the storm. Brian's been working out some hand signals with him so that when he comes by, he can tell him toes together, throttle off the jump, get some more air. We're working on getting a little more air and keeping our toes pointed in. Right there, this is Brian from Edge Power Sports and he's been coaching crew through this practice today. So he's running from corner to corner to give him additional pointers as he comes through. I think he responds better to him than to me because it's like a coach versus a dad. So we've seen some great improvement with Brian's help out there on the track. Here he comes right now. He just came over that jump. It's a piece of it, I don't know where it goes, but. Oh, that's his helmet, I that's think, that's piece, the front, yeah. yeah. This came off his helmet, so he must have smashed his face. Dude, and he's going his last lap, dude, what a stud. Yeah. He literally, no, right he here, hit, he hit. just came up, and then he hit the tires, Don't flew. Oh my gosh, so he just came down here too fast. When they turned his bike on, it was stuck full throttle. This might be the most victorious lap of his life. I don't know how much it was caught on GoPro, how much was caught on video. I'm being told the counts of the story over there. He hit the tires full speed. Throttle was just full cranked, flipped over them. Bike flipped, he flipped. That's the front of his helmet. How did boy Kribby do? You are a boss, dude! Refused to give up. Literally, how hard did his face mask have to hit for this to be on the ground? Just unbelievable. His plastics on the back of his bike are pulled off. That must have been one heck of a wreck. And he popped up, stood by his bike, and finished his last lap. That's how you bing him. That's how you crew bing him. <laughs> This, this broke off the front of your face mask, so your helmet must have smashed the ground so are you hard. Okay? Yeah. You positive? Are you sure? That scared the really crew. You are the man. Are you okay? Yeah. Did my throttle get stuck or something? Yeah. I looked over at the 
last second and you ran in the tire and it was like, <laughs> Dude, that's what I heard. You hit the tire and like full on flipped over, dude. Don't Holy crap. It. Dude, Almost landed. He, he was just like, he got up so casually. Right. I know, and then. <laughs> That's why when I got over it, I didn't think it was that intense. Yeah, it was nice. He just oh my gets gosh. up, like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you okay? He's like, yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. I know, and then, yeah. you good? that's why that when I got over it, I didn't one. think it was. Holy thank crap, you, dude. Nice to tell him thank you. Really thank you for the help, too. I'm glad you guys were standing right there. Thank you. Everyone who's like in this sport was like, that was, that was perfect then, because that was a heck of a finish. This is his helmet right here. Look at this part, just broken straight off. You look like Bryson now. Apparently he rolled, flipped, must have smashed his face super hard, because this broke off. They've got metal screws hanging out, broken, busted pieces. Got people coming over to see if he's okay. It was such an accident. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I just have to show you this. Crippy Doo is getting undressed, getting changed, and he goes, Dad, look, the mark from the tire is on my arm. This is the tire from his bike running him over after it flipped twice. It left a bruise on his arm where the tire ran over him. How did you pop back up and finish that race, dude? I don't know. Like, I literally would never know anything happened if I didn't see people go and help you. Crew, are you full Savage Beast Warrior mode right now? <laughs> All right, guys. guys, just wrapping up the first practice. Wow! If that's any indication of how the season's gonna go, I'm a little buckle worried. up, subscribe, dumb as a video. I also pray for my crewy that he's gonna be safe. Yes, please he's do, you guys. He's super tough. Everyone's like, I didn't see it happen because he went over the tabletop and went down and, and he goes so guys, around the curve I, just fine. I posted a slow motion video to Instagram of what happens right before. I didn't know that that happened right after because I can't see past the tabletop. I couldn't either. But if you go to our Instagram, check out our Insta story where he does a slow motion jump with a cool sun behind him. Right Right after that is when he eats it. Uh, you just never know when it's gonna like, happen. That was gnarly, and Guys, he just popped up. He's like, "I'm okay." Like sport veterans, league veterans who have been around the block were like, Ooh. "That was nasty." That's how you know it was but an epic totally crash. He's fine. He has a bruise right here. You can see where his tire. Like the tire he said ran over him. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm gonna go back and rewatch that a hundred times. <laughs> trying to figure out what happened, you guys. But just an epic, insane blessing. Honestly, that he came he's out of that totally okay, fine. popped right up, finished the last lap. That was unbelievable. And he's, he's so just tough. in there chilling, he's ready so to go tough. get a Slurpee on the way home or something. Hey, so I want a Slurpee on the way <laughs> it's home. It's 7-Eleven. We love you. Thanks for hanging in there with us Thank tonight. Thank you. Practice a little more eventful than we thought it might be. Huge thanks to Edge Power Sports. And we're able to come out here to RMR and race. And he has the best coaches in the world. Brian and Bryson Green have been so incredible. 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 I posted a picture of Brian and Brandon just sitting there just coaching and I love it because cool. I was saying this earlier in the vlog but I feel like he's gonna respond to a coach more than he will a dad sometimes totally. so I think that that was great to have that dad figure but also the coach figure out there also a huge shout out to our friend Marcus he was the one first responder on the scene if you will first, first one to show up and help <laughs> crew off the ground just so many good friends no, so many good people out here in this motocross family it's incredible we love you guys thanks so much for hanging out with us today and supporting our kids we love you guys come back tomorrow guys we're gonna convert this truck into an ice cream truck and take it around the neighborhood that's gonna be savage good night everybody Oh, <laughs>